Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am so glad you are joining me wherever you are, whenever you are joining me, and from wherever you are. I'm Dr. Jan. This is Russell Institute of Learning Sidebar Education, and do I have a story to tell you? Well, today was my first day that I've ever had a virtual teacher observation. And I am probably one of the first virtual teacher observations that the administrator has conducted. So let's just first of all talk about as we move into the future of education and if it stays virtual. And we've talked about getting all of the stakeholders in together and making sure that we begin with the end in mind, that we are teaching to where the students are, making sure that we create the flow of education, that it moves them along to reach the point of expectation, but that we're not always trying to put every student into a box. Well, uh, along with that, after today, I also realized we do not have the actual documentation and framework to assist the teachers in their evaluations and moving along the way. Because all of the old um, evaluation forms that used to work, you come in, you sit down, you used to look at your teacher's lesson plans, they look at your walls to see how pretty it is and how much you use the room when you teach and how do you do class discipline. Well, today, I was so glad when my administrator that I knew they were coming, uh, which was a good thing because I think they were going to try to come another day that I didn't know. So not that I would do much different, but I was able to let the children know we're going to have a visitor. And, and because then after a while, once you start teaching, you, you pay no attention that somebody's observing you and that it was fine. I just had to tickle. She gave me a good job. And in it, I thought that if they had been... Um, following me and looking at Russell Institute of Learning, powered by the WHERE concept, withedness, adaptability, resourcefulness, and enthusiasm. Oh, I would have got check, check, check. Yay! So who knows? Maybe that's what we're going to be looking at. Because in it, it was a very typical virtual day. One, I had a student who his parent had already told me he's going to be traveling to another town and he will have his uh, device. So if you see him in a car, so you could tell this child was riding in a car, but I knew that that was coming. Then I had a child because now I was looking and looking at the screens, which I would have been doing anyway. He was all laid down on the chair and underneath the table. I said, hey, hey, what you doing? So just like we would have had in a classroom, maybe the child wouldn't have been quite as laid down, but when you've got those tiles on the screen and you're looking through them and you're looking at other students, they may be missed for a quick moment, but you find them. And when you encourage them to come back into the classroom, you have to draw them in. And one thing she did say that my uh, demeanor toward the children was always inviting, that because of our virtualness and being apart, that they felt as they were being drawn in and included. I thought, yay, I hadn't even thought about that because that's just me. So I was able to then deal with that. But then we had a couple of students who kept getting kicked out because of the internet. They kept coming back. I encouraged them. And how do you then um, allow variety of activity when you are virtual? And so this administrator did not know some of the programs I was using. So in the debrief afterwards, um, they were asking me about the platforms and I was able to tell them this and I like this and this is why I use this and I used to use this. And so I was able to explain uh, the rationale of why I was using what I did and why the um, students are being able to be engaged and that I'm always knowing what's going on. So I just wanted to say, yay, that's over for the day. I'm sure there will be more to come. But as we are moving forward, we have to think with the end in mind because if we are only waiting and we are reacting versus being proactive in development of forms, processes, we're going to wind up having more trouble than if we really think out the pro, um, the process. Well, that's not very, that takes too long. 
Yes, but at Stanford University, for every uh, minute of preparation, it saves you three minutes of implementation. I have been saying that for many years. So if we take the more time to plan, then when we implement, it's going to save us time. And I'm sure many of you have seen that. So I am glad you came today. I am glad you are part of Russell Institute of Learning Sidebar Education and that you are following, liking, comment, and share. And I'll see you again tomorrow.